he was seen up in Delaware by our colleague. And then two days later, we received that report of an animal on Astig Island National Seashore. We had our staff go and be dispatched down with our response volunteers to do an assessment on the animal. Typically, when mom leaves, they fast for a couple weeks and then they start to learn to forage on their own. With Louis Armstrong, he didn't have enough time with mom. He was underweight and he was gonna need some intervention to be able to get over that hurdle. And as a maternally dependent pup, they're usually coming in pretty lethargic and quiet. Then once they start to stabilize out and we start giving them calories, they're very similar to toddlers. They all have their own personalities. His personality, uh, <laughs> his personality was very unique. March 20th, he developed a right eye ulcer, and then he started to have left ear discharge, which indicated an ear infection. We knew that we were gonna have to move forward with a CT scan, and also being able to anesthetize him to look at that eye. So we elected to bring him off site to a specialty hospital to be able to conduct the CT scan and have a board certified ophthalmologist vet do an exam to confirm the ulcer and that it was healing. And then also a CT scan to confirm that he did have a middle ear infection, but it was not compromising the eardrum. You get to this point in rehab where you know you've done the best you can, and that, you know, behaviorally, they start having these antics and their personalities getting really large, and that it's time mutually to move on. And we always worry when they leave what they're going to do, where they're going to land. But it was an easier transition for our team because we were putting a SAT tag on him to be able to monitor him post-release. It's a computer wildlife tag uh, that is able to track vertically and horizontally an animal's behavior in the wild. So that means distance and also depth of diving. So they molt annually in July and when Louis was leaving. Um, he was leaving us at the beginning of June, so we knew we'd only have about 30 to 60 days with this tag before it would naturally fall off with his molt. For his release specifically, it was like a hold your breath, making sure that we did this correct and that the mechanics behind the tag were going to be in our favor that day. Seals are not a social individual. They are very social when it comes time to rest and they're um, established haul outs and there's very distinct locations. So Cape Hen and Lopen, there's the newest established in our area. We were just happy he made it there. And then to our surprise, watching him continue his journey north. First night he landed in Cape Henlopen and then he moved to the Atlantic City area of New Jersey and then mid Jersey and then Fire Island and but at every night he had a pause. I don't know if it was the impacts of rehab because he had a very set schedule. There was a trend that you can see once he started moving that he was staying with his little regiment schedule. <laughs> once he got to Nantucket that is where he stayed to see him be able to migrate all the way up to Nantucket to an established rookery was quite incredible. Watching their time here and then putting them out in the wild can be very emotional for folks. Um, and you know, you always want what's best for them. Um, so this tracker was really just a good piece of mind and a really good way to close out his story.